These strange little wild dogs live among some of the world's most dangerous predators. Monitor lizards fear them, and tigers hate them. So what makes these tiny dogs such powerful hunters? Let's take a deep dive into one of the most organized hunters in the world. This is the killer whistler, the dole. I'm Danielle Dufault, and you're watching Animal Logic. The dole is a strange fox-like canid that is somehow in constant struggle with tigers, leopards, monitor lizards, and bears, and has earned their respect through its smarts and grit. They have to fight for every meal, and the perpetual struggle for nutrition is always on their mind. This is a massive predicament, which thankfully I don't have, thanks to today's episode sponsor, Factor. Factor delivers never frozen, ready to eat meals to your door. The food is restaurant level, and all you have to do is heat it up for two minutes before you eat it. The meals are cheaper than takeout, and they're approved by dietitians to be nutritious and delicious. So, Factor is the perfect option for someone like me who loves easy and affordable upscale meals. Today I'm eating jalapeno lime cheddar chicken with spicy cilantro cauliflower rice. It comes in a neat box. And all you have to do is warm it up. And just like that, it's ready. Let's try this chicken and cauliflower rice. There's some nice spice to it. I really like it. 10 out of 10, chef's kiss. I've saved so much time and money every week thanks to Factor. And it's so flexible. And there's so much variety in the types of meals, snacks, and juices I get that it always feels fresh and new. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code ANIMALOGIC50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. They are delicious and packed with nutrients. Some of the flavors available are apple ginger lemon cayenne, spinach kale celery lemon, and lemon apple ginger honey turmeric. Honestly, this is delicious. I would drink this all the time. Thanks, Factor. And now back to the wily doggy warriors of Asia. Doles are about the size of an Australian Shepherd, and though they look like a red fox corgi hybrid, they're actually much more closely related to wolves and jackals. They have survived humans and some of the greatest predators on Earth, partly due to their social life. Like other canids, doles live in groups. They usually have about 10 to 15 members, though sometimes separate groups merge to make supergroups of up to 30. Because of the lack of rigid hierarchy, their groups are more commonly known as clans instead of packs. They're not really egalitarian societies because breeding females seem to be higher in the hierarchy, but they're basically hippie communes full of voracious killers. Wait, are doles a cult? When they hunt, the clan splits into smaller units of about five. They get ready for the chase by play fighting and running around each other. It's like athletes getting ready for the big game, but in their case, the game is deer and other large ungulates. You know, just uh, passing around the deer skin. <laughs> the meal varies depending on the location, but markhors, tapirs, chitals, and even baby elephants are on the menu. Doles, like humans, are very visual hunters and communicate using a combination of calls and visual cues. They usually go out hunting in the morning daylight in groups of five. That's their optimal hunting group size. Larger groups are harder to coordinate, and smaller groups can't cover as much ground. Usually, one of them will lead the charge, while the rest stay back and cover the flanks. As they chase their prey, their whistles help them keep track of each other. If they get close enough, they bite in the legs and sides and try to guide it towards water, where prey bleeds out faster and are less mobile. If prey refuses to go to water, they just keep on biting until it falls. In order to survive a dole attack, prey has to be agile to navigate the forest, quick to outrun their hunter, who runs at 50 kilometers an hour, have the stamina to keep going while injured, and be very, very lucky. 
most animals don't have this set of skills and eventually are captured. The doles tear their prey open and quickly eat the most nutritious parts. The heart, liver, and lungs are their favorite organs. They also have to gorge themselves to return to the clan and regurgitate some of their food for the pups and the pregnant females. It seems a bit unfair not to be able to enjoy your meal after a hard day of work. But for the doles, finding and killing their prey is only the beginning of their problems. The noise and the smell of blood brings in unwelcome guests, tigers. In some areas, they have to share their hunting grounds with tigers, leopards, and due to their more aquatic habitats, Asian monitor lizards. The arrival of a tiger forces doles to flee, as they're simply too big and too strong to do anything about it. Leopards can sometimes be fought off if a dole has backup, but can be a death sentence when encountered one-on-one. -on -one. Asian monitor lizards, on the other hand, generally seem pretty chill to share prey with the dole. Except this guy. He does not seem happy. Well, maybe he's just about to puke. Bears and snow leopards can also show up in parts of their range. And of course, any of those large predators will not only steal their food, but also hunt doles. It's a catty dog world. In some cases, a big group of doles can steal a leopard's prey. It's just another case of kleptoparasitism, a common occurrence in the natural world. These amazing battles between doles and big cats used to be common all over the Northern Hemisphere, but their numbers have shrunk so much that it's become an almost mythical occurrence. There are only about 2,000 mature doles in the wild, about a tenth of the global polar bear population, and yet we never hear about their plight. Tigers might steal their kills and hunt doles, but humans are by far their worst enemy. We have outcompeted them for food, destroyed their habitat, and in some cases put bounties on their heads, like the British did in India in the early 20th century. Today, farmers will often kill doles to preemptively protect their livestock. Since their range has been broken up so much, and they've been forced to remote areas with disparate climates, several subspecies have appeared. Seven remain today, and vary in color, fur length, and size. Smaller, darker doles live in southern India and Southeast Asia, and lighter, fluffier ones live in China, the Himalayas, and other mountainous regions. Before humans took over, they were found all over Europe. The last European doles died in the mountains of Italy and Spain about 10,000 years ago. To prevent that from happening to contemporary doles, conservation biologists are working on specific plans for each country where doles live. The plans will include protecting their habitat, raising doles in captivity and reintroducing them in the wild, providing orphaned pups with dog foster parents, vaccinating them against disease they can acquire from domestic dogs, and launching education campaigns to improve their image in the eyes of farmers. Changing people's mentality about doles is crucial and will be tough. They have a reputation for being ferocious and untamable, which to be fair, is true. Doles never become comfortable around people, will bite if approached, and are just generally very wild animals, even if raised in captivity from a young age. In China and India, there are legends about their ferocious behavior, especially their ability to stand up to larger predators and hunt huge prey. In a story in the Jungle Book verse, Mowgli's wolf family is warned of an upcoming war with the vicious doles. This isn't even that far-fetched. Wolves and doles kinda hate each other. But thankfully, they don't encounter each other very often. Saving the elusive dole will take a lot of work and time, but hopefully in a few decades, their numbers will grow and we'll see them rule once again from the tropical jungle to the Himalayas. So what should we talk about next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes every week. Thanks for watching. See ya. They have a reputation for being absolute bonkers, uh, ferocious and untamable.
Got it. Yeah.